Representative Trey Gowdy is the head of the 392nd Benghazi Committee in the House, and the Democrats did some research and realized that the Republicans are raising a gargantuan amount of money off of Benghazi. So listen to Gowdy discuss that and try to deflect attention from it on Fox News Sunday. With that, with Congressman Gowdy, you say this is not political, that this is just about fact finding. But as Congressman Becerra brought up just this week, the National Republican Congressional Committee, which is the committee that supports GOP House candidates, sent out this fundraiser. House Republicans will make sure that no one will get away from Gowdy select committee, and then will you automatically add your name today to join us and become a Benghazi watchdog? This is a fundraiser coming out from the NRCC. Congressman Gowdy, isn't this exactly the problem, the danger, the risk that you overstep your bounds, the GOP, not you personally, you overreach and you make this political, and as Congressman Becerra mentioned, you're, you end up like going on a political hunt instead of dealing with issues that people deal with their daily lives like Obamacare and jobs. Yes, uh, which is exactly why I said I will never and have never sent out any fundraising literature trying to raise money in the grief and the tragedy of four dead Americans and I have asked my colleagues to follow suit but my friend and colleague Tommy Cotton from Arkansas did a magnificent job on the House floor of pointing out the duplicity and the hypocrisy of Democrats all of a sudden concluding that certain things are above politics they raise money on Sandy Hook they raise money on Katrina they raise money on the on, on, on Iraq and Afghanistan so for me I will not raise money on Benghazi, just like I never raised money using crime victims when I was a prosecutor. And I've asked my colleagues to follow suit, but it would be helpful. It would be helpful if our colleagues on the other side of the aisle did not have selective amnesia when it comes to what's appropriate to raise money off of and what is not. All right, so let's break that down a little bit, because there is a massive difference between what the Democrats did and what the Republicans are doing. So look at the list of things that he lays out there. And he says, well, yeah, of course, we are raising money in this disgusting way off of four dead Americans, but they raise money off of dead people, too, so we're both equally bad. So don't get mad at us? I mean, first of all, even if you grant him the points of his argument, which I don't, and I'll get to that in a second, it's still a bad argument, because it reminds me of the argument about uh, climate change, where people say, well... Uh, yeah, even if we do good and we stop polluting, China's still polluting, so why would we stop? Let's also continue to fuck up the environment time and time again. Yeah, but that's the, you know, somebody else did something shitty, so why can't I do something shitty too? It's like, hey, my friend ran over a toddler in his truck, why can't I do it? It's a stupid point to make. But, again, I don't even grant him the points anyway. So when he lays out what the Democrats raised money off of and what they highlighted as reasons to vote for them, he said, Iraq, Katrina, and Sandy Hook. Well, let's see. What's different about those things compared to Benghazi? All of those things, the Democrats had distinct policy differences and ideas and reasons to vote for them over the Republicans. So with Iraq, the idea was, we want you to vote for us, and we want you to give us money so that we can win the election, so that we can get the fuck out of Iraq. We disagree with the Republicans' policy, so vote for us and give us money and donate to us so that we can get the troops out and save people's lives and do a better policy. When it came to Katrina, the idea was, vote for Democrats, vote for us, because FEMA won't be fucked up under us. Under Bush, they cut funding for FEMA. They did a fucking terrible job. They weren't ready. But guess what? Under a Democratic administration, FEMA would have been fully funded. And if you vote for us, it's going to continue to be fully funded. And you won't have to worry about such a terrible response during a tragedy. So there is a policy difference. That's why we want you to vote for us. That's why we want you to donate to us. That's totally legitimate. With Sandy Hook, the Democrats said, we are in favor of universal background checks. Okay, we are in favor of banning high-capacity magazines. We are in favor of getting rid of these crazy assault weapons. So vote for us because we will actually make a change. We will make a difference. We will change the policy so that there are less Sandy Hooks in the future. That's why it's legitimate to talk about those things as 
policy issues for future elections. But it's not legitimate to bring up Benghazi because you don't have a policy disagreement. You're just saying, uh, four dead people, blame Obama, give us money. But wait a second. Even if uh, we accept that something could have been done to prevent what happened at Benghazi, the issue would be we needed increased funding for the different consulates around the world, especially in certain places in the Middle East. Well, who's responsible for getting that funding to pass? Congress, which is majority Republican, not President Obama. But they just overlooked that completely. Four dead people, blame Obama, blame Hillary Clinton, uh, give us money. 